Welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Build Twitter. In this episode, we go ahead and hop back into the front end. We work on some custom style components to actually change the outline and the coloring inside of our modal. That way we know whether or not our input is correct or invalid. So let's go ahead, hop into VS Code and I'll let you guys know how we did this. So now if we come back in here, we need to actually fill out this deter determined style inputs. So this is going to take a few things. We're going to go ahead and break apart our props. We're going to say let, we're going to say active, let valid and let theme equal to props. We're going to break that apart. And now we're just going to have a few if statements. So we're going to say, um, if we're not active and we're valid. So this means we're going to return a solid one pixel. So one pixel solid border. And this is going to use the theme color dot light gray. So what does this actually mean? If we go back into Twitter, whenever we have, whoops, I closed out of Twitter. So let's go back to Twitter and log in or sign up. So whenever we click on this, we have some valid information in there and we click away. It has a gray or a light gray background or light gray border. So that's what we're going to achieve whenever we have valid data in here and we're inactive. We're not clicked inside of it. So cool. Next, we're going to say if we're not active and we're not valid. So that means if we go ahead and take a look at this. So if we delete all of this, we're not active and we don't have a valid name or we don't have a valid phone number, it's going to have a red border, but it's going to be one pixel. So we go ahead and say return and we're going to say one pixel solid. And we're going to have our dollar sign theme dot colors dot air cool next we'll say if we are active and valid so if both of these are true we're going to return a two pixel two pixels solid dollar sign theme dot colors dot blue so again go back to twitter we type in we're active we've clicked in it and we have a valid name you can see that we have a blue border is a little bit thicker and finally if we're active and not valid so active and not valid we're going to return two pixels so two px solid and air so theme dot colors dot air. So again, just to show you all, we go in here, we have an invalid name, but we are active. You see that we have a solid red border. That's a little bit thicker. So that is good to go. We've already imported that. And now we need to go ahead and make the next style component that we need. Again, we haven't used it yet, so nothing crazy. So we're going to go ahead and make another component. And this is going to go into our validated input or inside of our actually it'll just go inside of our styled input and we're going to create an export and we'll get rid of this export const and we're going to call this styled input label is equal to styled dot and this is going to be a span and this is also going to take in that styled input props like so and it's going to take these back ticks so i don't know why it does this um this must be an error or something but for whatever reason the export const it doesn't like to work sometimes but we're going to just kind of roll with it and go with it so what this styled label or styled input label is going to be is going to be this name so whenever we click on it it gets bigger whenever we type in it it gets bigger whenever we click away it changes colors all of that good stuff so that is what we're going to be working on next first we're going to have a position of absolute so we're going to put it absolute inside of the uh, styled input box we're going to put left 10 pixels we're going to put um, font weight a little bit a uh, thinner of 400 we're going to have a width of 100 percent we're going to have a margin of zero and a padding of zero whoops 
margin zero, padding zero. We're going to have our font size be determined off of a um, prop. So we're going to say font dash size is going to be dollar sign. And we're going to say props. And we're going to say props dot active. Nope. Active question mark. If so, it's going to be 13 PX. Otherwise, it's going to be 18 PX. So if we're active, if we come back into here. If we're active, it's going to be smaller. If we're inactive, it's going to be not smaller. And we'll figure out a way to deal with the name like that as well. So next, what we need is to do our top. So top is also going to depend on if we're active. So we're going to say our dollar sign and our props. And if it's props dot active, we're going to make it five pixels. Otherwise, we'll make it 16 pixels. Again, if we take a look at our Twitter login, whenever it's quote unquote active, it's smaller. Whenever it's inactive, it's a lot bigger. So that's the idea behind that. And then finally, our color is going to be dollar sign props. And we're going to say determine label color and this is going to go into props and we need to go back into our determined style util and actually write this method so let's go ahead and do that we're going to have an export const and we're going to say determine uh label color of course this is going to take in our props which are of type styled input props this is going to return a string which is that style and now what we'll go ahead and do, we're going to break apart our prop again. So active, valid, theme, and color. We're going to say equal to props. All right. So it's complaining because we're not returning anything right now. So by default, it's going to return theme.colors.light gray. Cool. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to say if color okay so if color is valid and color is equal to blue and this should be um actually like this so what we're doing here is color if we go back to our interfaces color is an optional string that you don't have to pass so with typescript we actually had to check to make sure color is not we have to make sure the color is not undefined so that's what the first check's doing the second one is checking to see if it's error and what we're going to do is return theme dot colors dot error simple enough and then here we're going to check if color and color is equal to blue and then we'll return theme.colors.blue so there's going to be a little bit more going on than just this but we'll get there so now all we need to do is go ahead and import this so we'll go ahead and import determine label color and that one's good to go and those are our two styled components that we need currently and don't worry we're going to go ahead and start using these very soon unfortunately that's going to be it for today if you guys enjoyed please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button you'll know exactly when it comes out especially at that bell icon if you did enjoy the content today please sure leave a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy it leave a thumbs down either way it helps out with the algorithm all the same and finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.